Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video we're going to do a shootout comparing storage options. We've got a solid state hard drive, we've got a hybrid solid state and we've got a standard traditional platter hard drive. This is my old solid state, it's a 256 gigabyte octane, had it for a few years and hasn't let me down but it was time to upgrade so I've got a crucial BX100 with 500 gigabyte. Um, I always ran out of space for my video editing. So I'm using Windows 10, so I used uh, the built-in backup software to take a system image and the process is fairly straightforward. I just backed it up onto a second hard drive. Then you need to burn yourself a system repair disk, which allows you then to restore that image onto the other hard drive. So I restored the image onto the three hard drives, um, unplugged the ethernet cord and then did a couple of reboots because the hybrid solid state drive will get faster the more often it loads the same data. So without further ado, let's have a look at the results and let's see if hybrid solid state is worth the money or if you should go for a dual hard drive setup like having a solid state drive for your systems, your applications and your games and storing your movies or music on a traditional hard drive. Ready, set, go. So I've just restarted all the four machines. You can see them rebooting in the background and I've got a little PowerPoint here with a graph. So let's have a look at the times for the very first restart. This is straight after uh, re-imaging the hard drive. So we've got the solid state drives at 34 and 38 seconds. So this just shows that for booting there's not that much difference between an old solid state and a new one. It doesn't really get stressed that much. We can also see that the hybrid solid state drive is already quicker than the standard platter hard drive. So simply by uh, loading, reloading the image and, and, and then booting into Windows 10 the first time, it already started uh, caching some things into the onboard solid state. Let's have a look at the second restart, how the times develop. So here we go. The solid state drives, they stay at the same level, so it doesn't really matter how often re you reboot them, they are always fast, even the first time. And then we can see that both actually improving, so I believe this has to do with Windows 10 maybe optimizing things in the, in the background, and both of them kind of accelerate uh, body same amount. And looking at the numbers, um, not quite twice as fast, but getting, uh, getting there. Um, that's the main difference between the hybrid and the standard platter hard drive. Okay, let's have a look at the third restart. So the solid states, as just like before, they stay fast. The hybrid solid state picks up a little bit more extra speed and even the platter drive gets faster. So that's probably Windows 10 optimizing a little bit more. So we can see this takes roughly a minute, whereas these take uh, just a little bit over half a minute and then around 100 100 seconds for the standard platter hard drive. Let's do the fourth restart. Once again, solid state, nothing special. They stay fast as always. And the platter and the solid state, or the hybrid solid state hard drive, they improve once again. Let's go to the fifth restart. And now we can see something really interesting. The platter drive still gains a little bit of speed, but look at the hybrid solid state drive that is now really close to the uh, standard solid state drives. However, it took five restarts and uh, we'll talk about that later when I give you my conclusion. And let's have a look at the sixth restart. So we can see that everything kind of uh, finds, finds the, the natural speed. So the platter hard drive is now taking 83 seconds to boot, whereas all the other drives are just over 30 seconds. So what is my take on all of this? At first it looks impressive how the hybrid solid state uh, is, is getting faster and faster and faster, but you have to remember that all I did was restart the computer. It, didn't, it then loaded a few uh, applications, but I didn't do anything else. I didn't install a game. I didn't uh, load an application that hasn't been cached before. So the first time you're doing something, you always get this level of performance, whereas the solid state drives, they are consistently fast. And same thing with the platter hard drive, you usually get quite a, a slow performance in general. Actually with the solid state hard drive, if you haven't done any caching, it should actually be right up here. So the reason why it's down here is probably because after re-imaging when it first boots Windows 10, it likely has already cached something. So if you're doing something 
brand new that you haven't done before, you'll likely uh, be up here. And that's quite a factor uh, of difference between these two. So what is my recommendation? Um, if you're building a computer these days, I think it's really time to go with a solid state drive for your main operating system, for your documents and for your applications. You can get a uh, 128 gigabyte solid state, no, hang on a minute, a 256 gigabyte solid state drive for around $100, maybe a little bit more. That is really cheap enough and quite affordable. And then I would get a second hard drive for your storage around maybe two terabyte or something like that. And that's where you can put your photos and your videos. Um, those files don't need to have the uh, solid state performance, to be honest. So that is my recommendation. Um, when would you go for the solid state hard drive? It really depends. I've got one machine. It's a capture computer. And all it does is capture uh, vintage computers through the VGA or HDMI input. And I just want that machine to boot a little bit faster, but I still want a large hard drive to store everything. And I wanna, I wanna have it simple, not having to deal with two hard drives. So for that machine, I went with the SSHD, the hybrid solid state drive. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends via Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus or Reddit, hit that like button. And if you've got any comments or questions, just leave them down below. I'm always eager to hear from you.